Hello, uh, this is my first video um, on how to use Slick Edit. So I'm just going to show you how to install it and what you would see at the beginning of installing this software. So I just, I mean, this is very <laughs> simple stuff. Um, here you have some options. Um, you can add it to your path, which allows you to use it from the command line. So you can actually um, type vs and then space a file name and it will open it up in slick edit and it will also allow you to use some of the tools um, via the command line uh, this just puts it in the desktop this is pretty handy sometimes I like to put this because uh, it allows me to um, open a file that I don't usually view in a text editor I can actually I can actually tell it quickly to see it on an editor and this one I also like just to have it handy in the quick launch bar so then I click install finally we click on finish and we are then able to open up um, I have a license so I'm gonna at my license but if you don't have a license you can request a trial license you go to the website and then I mean you just click here and request trial license and it will take you to a to the website and then you have to put in some information and it will send you a link where you can get a license file a temporary one and and install the trial so having installed a license file um, you're going to be taking into this quick start configuration wizard and here you can pick some quick settings that you want for your editor um, there are various types of emulations so if you're used to using uh, the keyboard shortcuts that you would usually use in Visual Studio then you can pick this one and um, the editor will behave very much like Visual Studio and um, it will uh, it'll perform very similar things that with the same shortcuts that Visual Studio uses um, or if you're used to Emacs then you can do the same I I usually pick common user access interface because uh, I'm used to using the uh, the shortcuts that I usually see for Microsoft Word Notepad or other programs I see them always use Control C for copy and Control V for paste that uh, I kind of just go this way and whatever other shortcuts I need I, I'll just simply add them uh, via the key binding settings which I'll show you later on um, colors I'm not picky I mean if you like to have certain colors and what your text should look like you can go ahead and choose the one you like but I just go with the default I really don't care much for color in my <laughs> code uh, the fonts you can also choose the type of font you want but I, I go with the defaults um, this will allow you to set um, how you want to indent your code if you want to use spaces or tabs um, in some places they want you to always indent with spaces and no tabs should be in your code so if, if you have something like that then you you might want to choose this so, the, so that your code always indents in spaces um, I'm not particularly neither one of the two I can always choose uh, from the options how I want to indent my code um, same with the brace style and there are other things here um, this is just to open certain files automatically using slick edit um, I'm not particular maybe um, XML I like to open XML files because some of the tools um, uh, look at it handles XML files pretty nicely um, workspaces and projects uh, this is just to create a new project uh, uh, you don't have to do create a project from here I like I prefer to do it from file new project uh, so I'll just skip that 
context tagging now this is nice um, if you're new to slick edit I recommend you to install uh, whatever language you're going to use the tool you're going to use whatever um, yeah whatever the dev kit for that language is um, it's it's preferable to install that first before you install slick edit because slick edit can actually detect some of the languages and then once it detects them it's able to tag them automatically for you and what this means is that it it's going to allow you allow allow you to get context tagging in your code or they call it in this in Visual Studio IntelliSense so you're able to get help as you type a function name and then it suggests possible function names and or method names depending on what what, what you're coding in so then um, since I already installed the JDK um, it's actually picking picking up that that installation finally you're able to export the options you just picked so that you can import them in other slick edit installations um, I like to keep I like to export the options I've I've made or my key bindings how I've set up my shortcuts that's that that is all saved whenever you choose to export options and the nice thing is that you can always import them so that you don't have to set everything all over again in another machine you can just import it and then you'll have your editor working like it works on the machine you're working in so then I click on finish and it takes me back to the editor